Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I have a humongous haul, mostly thanks to my little bloodhound, Myrnie. Myrnie, her name's Mary, but everybody calls her Myrnie, because her granted, I uh, had a long story. Anyways, she was out garage sailing Thursday and Friday, today's Sunday, and she texted and said, look what I found. She knows I'm looking for, like, primitive stamps which I've got a nice collection, but I'm just, you know, always kind of adding to them. Anyways, she had, like, uh, it was at a garage sale that had boxes of prim stamps. So um, that'll be right after these. But then she found all this stuff. Like, I think a lot of it was from the free box, which is crazy. So the first thing is this. It's a English metric converter, and I've always wanted one of these. But now that I look at it, it's like, I know I, I've never gotten one. It's so confusing. Hopefully this will make it easier. So like a half an inch is, see this is where I don't get it. One to one and a half. So how do you, one, two, one, two, three. So it's 1.3 centimeters. But it's just like, I don't know. I think it's very confusing. The centimeters thing, it just, it's like you got so many more numbers, it seems. But anyway, so this will be fun to try to figure it out. See, there's like miles, kilometers, centimeter, you know. So that was kind of cool. She didn't even know that I wanted something like this, but she thought it would be cool for like a journal or whatever. And she said they had the price tag up here, which is too bad, but... Still cool. And it's 3M, which is, of course, from Minnesota. I used to work at 3M in the property accounting um, division, and I hated every second of it because I'm not an accountant. All I did was file stuff that the accountants did, and it was just so tedious. Plus, my mom had just died. It was like, oh, it was just like a huge train wreck. So anyways, I don't stay there very long. Um, and then this is cool. It's a push-button telephone songbook. We actually have a phone like this. It's a vintage push-button one. So that's kind of awesome. But it's just songs you can play. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So that'd be kind of fun to do, maybe. But, you know, you're going to be calling people. So that's kind of funny. If nothing else, I can use it for just a kooky um, page in a journal. Um, there, so there's that. This is gorgeous. I can't believe she, this was in the free box. And it does sell a little, sell, it smells a little musty. But it's not real bad. I mean, I'm pretty, got a lot of allergies. And it's just very faint. So I think with a little bounce here and there. Um, but look at the illustrations. I mean, even the black and white ones are pretty. Very cool. It's a nice book. Like, it'd be great for learning. Cute common gray, or common crow. Clark's Nutcracker. Little chickadees. And then, so those are throughout, which is awesome. I will be cutting this up by the way, to use the pages. But here's the color, it's gorgeous. Just beautiful pages. So that'll be really cool. Sorry guys, it's up too far. Isn't that nice? And you can find these online. I found a couple for like three and four dollars, but they're all the way up to 40 and 50 dollars. For like really nice condition but for f just cutting them up you, know, you don't need to spin that much so that's awesome then she found this typing book and i think this was from i thought it was the 60s well 1957 so that's cool it's, i like the cover is awesome and they're just typing lessons. 
Isn't that fun? And like these, you could cut out the, you know, just cut out the lines and use those in like journaling. Just kind of kooky and cool. Our, we had to take typing in uh, middle school or junior high, as we called it. Had to. And we had to take short. I almost said shortening. We had to take shorthand and um, homemaking, which I loved because I love all, well, I didn't like the shorthand, but I loved homemaking, like sewing. I made an apron for my mommy, and we got to cook. And then these are like um, proof sheets. So like you do the lesson and then proof it this way. Very simple. It's crazy. But again, that'd be cool for a just tuck in a journal. And here's your lessons, which is another fun thing. And then this is what is this one? Oh, the paper I think that you use. Like the forms. So that's kind of cool. And this thing is to put your paper on. So you open it. They actually had metal ones that would have like a little lip. You stick your paper there. See this, on this one the book goes over it. But you could still use it to put your paper, or tape it, or pin it while you're typing. So I'm actually a really fast typer. Very, very fast and few typos. Of course, with the computer, it's easy to correct. So there's that, and then I'll be back. Hey, I forgot this. I think she said this was in the free bin. No, 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 never mind. This was from a little thrift shop over near, um, it's called Little Canada, which is kind of in between her and my house. But it's really a nice little shop. All the money they, they get, you know, they get all free donations, and all the money they get by selling, which 35 cents, every, everything's a dollar or 35 cents there. All the proceeds go to help women who are pregnant keep their babies and take care of them and, you know, get nutritional support and help. So that's where we're taking all our stuff now. I got done with Goodwill a couple of years ago because it's just... It's a joke. I mean, the prices at our Goodwills have gone sky high. Plus, they don't do what they say they're supposed to do. Like, they're supposed to hire handicapped people. They don't. I've never seen a handicapped person in the place. Which, you know, I mean, I just think it's crazy. They're making a ton of money. And this little place, they're all volunteers. They all work their butts off and it's, it goes to help babies get born so here is this is crazy like she goes I don't know if you like this I'm like are you kidding totally prim I think what I want to try to do is scan it in and then reduce the size of the you know like reduce the size of the pattern I know I can do that in my silhouette but my cameras dying a very slow and painful death and it's pretty much gonna almost very soon gonna get thrown off my deck and then it can die a fast death it's driving me crazy so these are really cool and that's probably from the 80s look at that maybe even late 70s no probably 80s it got more blue 70s were browns but it's kind of fun like, I'll just go fast. I'm not going to go through everyone. Isn't that cute? Prim, prim. Isn't that, I love this. The apples. Nice. And if I can figure that out, that's cute. I can put some um, digis up too. Like clothespins. Chickens, Yoli. More chickens. 
from the farm animals. So they are a little, that's really cute. Some are stuck, I think, just because of the sweltering heat we've had. And if they had it outside, but it's not damaged, look at it, not damaging anything. Closed pins, those are cute. Yes, yeah, so I think this is awesome. Gingham, of course. I think there was red, too. Because that's usually how they do the wallpaper. They do, like, a color wave, and then everything's repeated. But this is so cool, and that was free in the free box. All right, now, here's the thing with my little Mernie. She's all in. It's like, if you say, oh, I'm kind of looking for a prim stamp, bam, she gets, like, you know, 50 of them. Anyways, these were like um, really inexpensive. They're um, other than this one. And where's the other one? Where's the other one? It's under here. These were all like a quarter, you know, 50 cents to a dollar. So um, these two, I think she found these two. Um, these are hers. I'm just borrowing them. They're so cute. Look at that. Hello. It's like he's waving. But it's his tail. But those are cute. I'm just going to use them for a couple cards. So here we go. Oh, here's, here's the other one. I'm going to find the other one. And these she just gave me. I think I'm borrowing them. I think. No, I think she got... She gets, oh, here we go. Yeah, these I think she gave. And Mary, if I'm wrong, don't panic. Just let me know. So here's... This is a weird thing. I've been buying stuff on Marketplace. Um, and I saw these two stamps. Uh, was it Friday night? Thursday night. I think it was Thursday or Friday night. Friday think it was Friday night. Um, and I, had, I was going to message them. They were separate sellers. This one was like $14 plus shipping. I think this was like 8 Plus shipping, I thought, well, they're so cute. I especially, I was like going between two of them, and I for sure was going to get this one. And then something came up and distracted me, i.e., Scrubby, and I totally forgot about it. Next day, um, you know, Mary was out garage sailing with her friend Judy all Friday. So the next day, she's like, well, can you come over? I said, yeah, we'll come over. And here's the best part. Scrubby Bill and her husband Jim, who's a um, was a wrestler. I remember dad. him because my dad was into wrestling. Anyways, they get along so well, and it's so fun to watch them because they're just you know. And Bill just loves Jim's stories. He's hilarious. And anyways, so we went over there, and she goes, "Oh, look what I found you." Well, I, I think she actually. Yeah, she sent me a uh, text with them. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And I told her, I said, I just had those, you know, in my kind of cart, so to speak. I couldn't believe it. And these were from the little um, uh, little thrift store that sells for 35 cents or a dollar. So 70 cents for both of them compared to like, what, 14 eight? 20, like 30 probably dollars. So that is awesome. But isn't that cute? The world was born. And that's adorable. So, thank you, Marnie. And then, these are all the stamps from Garage Sailing. So we got this. That's really cute. Stamp stitches from Hero Arts. Here's the number. Stitched cake. And look at eight dollars, you know. This is so cute. Um Impression Obsession. I have a lot of Elisa Bakers, but I don't think you can even find it anymore. But whimsical hard border. Very cute. I love how it's tied. Oh so cute. Just a note. That is from Binding memory. Oh, and Anticipations. Never heard of that company. 2002. 
I'll do the little ones first. Rubber stamped. Yoli! They're from Whittier. Wow. Yoli Bean lives in Whittier. I hope I'm not giving away a secret. Um, and then that's just a cute label. This is really cute. I actually thought it was bigger, but it's still cute. But look at the little gingerbread, I think. Oh yeah, it's a little mitten. I thought it was a chicken leg. So this, $8.60. Oh my gosh, we spent so much money on our stamps. Carolee Jones, Art, no, F-R-T, Wild, Ginger Tag. So that's cute. Little Bunny, Margaret Sherry, oh, it's Penny Black. And it is Easter Wishes, 1934H. Penny Black, I think they have a lot of, uh, I don't think they retire many stamps. Maybe I'm lying. Okay. Whipper Snapper Designs, heard of them. And that is LY856 Easter Bunny in Basket. How cute is that? I just had an Easter Bunny out in the back. I did a little video. In fact, if it turned out well, I will post it before this. Cute. Another whippersnapper. Easter Bunny with carrots, I bet. Yep, Easter Bunny with carrots. C045. But this is whippersnapper. Easter eggs, yep. B025. Isn't that cute? There's another one that goes with it. Oh, Sugarloaf products. It's not the same. Whispers. This is nice. Stampin' Up. Cute pumpkins. Oops. This one's kind of nervous. Mrs. No. Alice Smith and Rowe. Pumpkin tree. Love that. Cute. Whippersnapper. H Bliss for Whippersnapper. I thought this was cute. For um, cards or envelopes. Heidi. Dinka Dinka Do. 7386. That's probably stamping up. Yeah. And cute snowman. Endless Creations F30. Another adorable gingerbread tag. I just have my glasses on. Holiday Treats Tag. EY801 Whippersnapper. Yeah, stamping up. Little, what are they? It's a squirrel and a bunny. And a mouse. That's really cute. And these is cute. These is cute. This is cute. This must have, maybe, I don't know. And then Trio of Snowmen. I saw, uh, I don't know if she had it. It said two and then love for the tag. I thought that was kind of cool. And here's a little prim heart. Rubber stamped checkerboard heart. A2243C. That's pretty. Stampin' Up 98. Never used. Isn't that crazy? Like, I don't have any that are never used. Thinking of you. I.E. you. The little hearts. Thinking of you. Two. H214. Uh, JRL Design. Never heard of them. I'm going to have a little apple. Some of Inky Antics. <gasps> Remember those? I still have a lot of theirs. I think they're still around. And then a nice... Um, what? Oh. To make a plaid. 
I thought it more, looked more like ticking, which it kind of does. Um, DRS 38P631. And then it's probably called Open Plaid. And then that's really cute. From Great Impressions F102. This is super cute. My sentiments I remember. MSC member. I think their videos are still up. <clears throat> the gal that did it was pretty good. My sentiments exactly. Yeah, they're long gone too. So, um, buy up all these stamps. They're just going to go to landfill. Why do that? Why let that happen? Isn't that sad? Oh, man. So, um, I'm doing the best I can to keep them out of landfill. So is Mary. Um, all right, now look at She had these all in here really nice. I'll never get them to fit. She's probably like cringing right now watching this. So there's that, I think. Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. But then I found... I found this on um, Marketplace, and the gal had it for 15 bucks, plus like $4 or $5 shipping. I'm like, really? And I said, would you take 12 And she said, nope. And I'm like, well, you could just say no, or sorry, no. And I just thought, only a little snot. So then I went on the Goog and typed in, um, what was that little bear? Probably just bear, bear or bee bear, I think it was. And not only did I find this, but that was with it. And I got it for $9 on eBay. Free shipping, too, which is crazy. So that's, you know what I say to that girl? Nope, I'm not buying it from you, big meanie. So there's it. No, I'm lying again. Oh gosh. I think my brain's turning into mush. Or already has. See, look at, I mean, I don't know how she's like, but see, there's people that can do that. They have a really good spatial relationship with the Mother Earth. Or with stuff. <laughs> oh, I know this is going to drive me crazy now. Oh, see. Ugh, there. They all, she, uh, how did she have all these in here? I'll probably have to look at the video again. I can't be it. Oh, I bet she's just having a heart attack. There. Okay, there. Don't stay away. All right, now, what am I going to do? I'll go put this somewhere. Alrighty, so here's another 35 cent one from the um, nice thrift store. That's really cute. That is, I think, Imaginations. Come on. Yeah. JJ802. Very cute. I'm going to put it right back where I found it. This is super cute. Now, these are from. Um, these are more from the garage sale. I think. And I think these are from her sale. She was going to have another garage sale, but decided not to. So that's really cute. Oops. Oh, yes, yeah, so I don't really need that. Um, she put it on that mounting, foam mounting stuff. This I thought was cute, and it'd be cool for the the little dot stamps that I have. You know, they're little cubes. So that's cool. That one is Alias Smith, and can't really read it. 93. Look at how they varnished the wood. Not anymore. This is nice burlap. All Night Media. 
Think of all these companies that are no longer with us. Too many. This is cute. It's all different trees. That'll be cute for my gardening books. A new baby. Then, this cool tray, I like artsy trees like that. I've done a lot of cards using just kind of scribbly stuff. Those are cool. Wishing you well, Hero Arts. Another little quarter. And then, this is really pretty. Stamping up. Maybe I'll take it out. Take them out so you don't get all blinded by the glitter. Isn't that cool? I'll have to figure out how to do that one. And I love that. I like the font and everything. But I wish they would have done the font like, or did they? Yeah, they did, I guess. Never mind. 2003. Ugh. Jeez, that's a long time ago. It's almost 20 years ago. Time flies. Nice cardinal. And a pretty snowman. That's cool. So, Marty, thank you. As usual, you're wonderful. To share all the... Not share it, but find it. Like, she loves... I think she loves it. Finding all this stuff. I sure love it. But anyways, that is my humongous haul. Thanks to Mernie B. Um, let me know what you think. Are you looking for any of these? Oh, I forgot about this one. Isn't that cool? That was from her, I think. Oh, I'm so confused. Yeah, I think that was from the, the garage sale. And happy Father's Day. There. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.